Well, speaking of the food industry, can you tell us a bit about a little bit more about what chemical engineering has to do with food? Yeah. So I was thinking about how to how to describe chemical engineering in general and then how it applies to food. So usually when people say, well, what do chemical engineers do? I describe it as um, taking something that you can do in a small amount, like on your kitchen counter or in a chemistry lab somewhere or in your garage and figuring out how to do it at bigger scales so that you can create more of it at once. So that's called scaling up uh, in, in industry speak. But as it applies to food, food are, are, food is chemistry too. It just happens to be chemistry that you can eat at the same time. And so a lot of the transformations, the chemical reactions, those are all really similar to, to what you learn in school. Um, and it makes sense once you think about it. Just no one had ever explained it. So a lot of what I do and what food engineering is about is taking a food product that you could make in your kitchen and figuring out how to make it at vast quantities so that you can supply it to many, many people. So you're on the research side, correct? Yes. So what what kind of research do you do? Mm, okay. So the, I do two main types of research. Um, one is developing new food products for the market or improving the products that are out there. So we do a lot of experimentation with different ingredients, different shapes, different colors, textures, um, to figure out what the best combination is to, to put something new out there that people have never seen or to make something that's already out there better. So I do a lot of experiments where we're running through all of the different variables and factors and seeing how it affects the end product and then picking the best combination of them. Um, the other type of project I do is figuring out how to optimize the process itself. So maybe the product I'm making is, is the same and I don't want to change that, but maybe there's ways to make the equipment more efficient or help things be more precise. Or a lot of what we do is try to take the load off of the people who are running the equipment so that they don't have to make as many decisions at once and it reduces their cognitive load on them um, so that they can run things more smoothly. So I do a lot of research on that too. 